Come on now. We got some very important penises out there. Mm-hmm. Now I need you to break her hand. Teach her how to work the flow. Nothing else. Now how the fuck are you gonna make more of all people babysit? We're gonna move this discussion to the premiere of P Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me and go, Larry, man. me and Larry have been hyping this show up for about six months now, and the only hype machine that we've seen for the show was Stars. Stars kept saying you need to watch it. It was a book. It turned to a stage play. It is telling the real stories of what it's like to be a stripper in the dirty, dirty. All right. The show started out with our girl Autumn Knight, who, in the beginning. You had to root for Autumn Knight because obviously she got caught in the Katrina thing, lost right. her home. She only had one bag. Larry, I don't know if that was her kid or what, but it seems like she got separated from the kid too. And yeah, it seemed like she got separated from the kid. And and, and I don't know if the, it seemed like she was in an abusive relationship and the dude that she was, was putting hands on her. And it's unclear if maybe he and the, the daughter died in Katrina or maybe right. they got separated or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking she probably died because when she, um, there was a scene where she spilled some liquor on her phone and messed her phone up and she was freaking out. Like this is the only photo she has. Right. I'm thinking that she must've lost everything else in the, in the, uh, mm-hmm. in the hurricane. And that was all that she had left. And so, you know, with her daughter gone, she does, you know, she doesn't have any other pictures of her. So I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe that's the deal. So well, this is this is the young lady we're discussing, Autumn Knight. You 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 can't help but root for this character the way they started to show out with her. Right. Um, just, just devastate her life was devastated. And she winds up showing up to Club Pink because they was having amateur night. This right. is Club Pink. This is Uncle Clifford. Uncle Clifford is um a gay man, and he pulled that wig off and go and cash a check right now. But they was having um, amateur night, and they was going to pay you $50 to show up for amateur night. So she shows up, and there's a line of all these scraggly-looking women, and Autumn Knight here shows up in a business outfit. Right. Problem was, and I've never seen this before, Larry, have you ever been to a strip club where they charge more to let the women in than they do the men. Uh, I don't know if they've charged more, but I've been to a strip club where they've had some different rules for women for men. Like there was one time, uh, me and some of my buddies, we were going to go to a strip club, and, and and we had a we had a couple of girls with us, and they told us the girls had to actually either be wearing skirts or dresses to come in. And did, did they charge them more to get in though? No, because well, I don't know to be honest with you, because they didn't have skirts or dresses on, so we couldn't even go in. I, I mean, the we didn't even get to the cover charge part, so but okay. Yeah. Well, long story, good. Long story short, on that, she um she didn't have enough money to get in, and the bouncer at the door. This um, I'm gonna. He almost reminds you of a bigger version of Ghost. His name is Diamond. The bouncer at the door's name is Diamond. He wouldn't let her in. She nope. didn't have enough money to get in. Somehow, hook or crook, she gets in the line, she gets in, and she knocks it out the park. She wins amateur night. And then right. she says, she asked Uncle Clifford, which is this guy right here, can she get a job? <laughs> and, right. you know, they start having jokes on her saying, you know, what, what do you think, this zip recruiter? You know, whatever, whatever. But right. she gets the job, and immediately they go into the light skin, dark skin stereotype. Right. So if you enjoy a show that is not afraid to go into the tropes of being country, being from the New Orleans area, talking about light skin versus dark skin, talking about gay men running clubs, strip clubs. This is going to be the show for you. You kind of get a Players Club vibe because some of the same things that was going on in Players Club appear to be going on in this. You have Autumn Knight, who is displaced, and y'all can remember a homegirl from Players Club who was displaced. You have a club owner who don't know how to run his business correctly with Dollar Bill from Players Club and Uncle Clifford here because Uncle Clifford, his business is struggling so bad, he can't even go and cash checks at the Korean store. The Korean store hemmed him up 
and said, we'll take your business, you write another bad check. Okay, you got that element going. Then you have the senior booty popper in the strip club who's getting ready to retire. And I'm talking about this chick right here, Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> yes, 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 Mercedes. And she can make it clap from the top to the bottom. She know how to get up and down the pole. She was doing acrobatics. I haven't even seen them doing in the Olympics on that pole. Yeah, yeah, like she's an pole work. yeah, she's an athlete. Well, she is charged with trying to groom Mercedes, and from jump, she doesn't like Mercedes. I mean, excuse me, right. Autumn Knight. Autumn she's Knight. called an Autumn Knight these light-skinned tropes. Just, you a light-skinned this, you a light-skinned that. Now, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, Autumn Knight has not rolled up into this show acting like she's all that. She has yeah. not run up in here and said, because I'm light-skinned, I'm everything. Right. Autumn Knight has been very meager, very reserved, very quiet, very unassuming, as if she doesn't want the job. And so they get into a little bit more of the backstory of Mercedes, who just tells Uncle Clifford she's leaving the club. Hmm. Her backstory is she's from the church. Her mom is into the church, and she's in the church giving away a lot of her stripper money to the church. Then we learn that her mom has some kind of issue where she's always having to use the Lord's name to get money out of her daughter who is trying to leave the church. And I'm assuming she wants to expand her black dance crew because she's working with some young ladies in the cheer squad. And I'm assuming maybe she wants to leave to do that. And then getting further along in the story, we meet this young lady who's being abused. She gets hit and she got beat. She had to show up to the club. Uncle Clifford had to clean her up. And basically everybody in the club was babysitting her baby while she's up there stripping. Right. And last but not least, this is Uncle Clifford in the scene I'm telling you guys about where he goes to the, the Korean store and they was like, we ain't giving you no money for this bounce check. <laughs> and then we also they put, meet, they put his picture on the wall and said he couldn't. Uh, yeah, it couldn't was, yeah, it was bad, man. Then we meet Lil Murder. Now, Lil Murder shows up because he's a rapper. He has a duffel bag full of money. But the bouncer, like I told you, dude named Diamond, made him get in the back of the line. He didn't give him no special treatment. He didn't give a damn if his name was Big Murder. Your ass is getting in the back of the line. You ain't going nowhere. Right. He gets into the club, and, you know, they call Mercedes, this young lady right here, to give them a private dance because she's the best one in the club, right? right? Well, while she's doing that, they look over and see this light-skinned chick, our new girl, Autumn Knight, and they was like, Forget you, Mercedes. We want that Beyonce looking chick right here, Autumn Knight. And now, mind you, Mercedes is charged with rearing Autumn Knight to basically replace her. So she does, and she was going to screw her because they was going to pay four stacks. Right. <laughs> Mercedes says they're going to pay me a thousand. They're going to pay you a thousand. Blah blah blah. And to make this very long story short, so Little Murder has his issue. He has his thing with them. But then he goes to the boom boom room with Uncle Clifford to get some of that penis in his butthole too. Larry, give us your thoughts on P Valley. It started out a little slow for me, but I wound up liking it. I wound up rooting for Autumn Knight's character. And I'm actually feeling a little sorry for Mercedes too because of the issue with her mom. But I'm anxious to hear your take because I know you chopping at the bits on this one. <laughs> so... <laughs> So here's a couple of issues I have with it. Oh, I, let me put let me put this picture up for you. I already know what you're about to say. Go ahead. No, no, I'm not there yet. I'm not. Oh, I'm not okay. okay. I'm not there with him yet. So, okay. Okay. So first of all, it's a show about strippers in a strip club, and we go thirty something minutes into this show before we even see a titty. I mean, come on. Now this is on stars. On stars. I mean, when we had when they were on power, I mean, they were they were naked every five minutes. Larry, we go thirty two minutes and let free see titty. Larry, club. It, it, Larry, it's Strip called club. it's called creating a narrative. It's, it's a called club. It, Larry is called setting a standard for a story based around a strip club. If strip? they would have, if, if they would well, have, if, and the strip club's name is Pink, by the way. That's the name of strip club. If they would immediately jump into stripping, you would be bashing the show because it would have been a cliche. It'd be stereotypical. They could have opened, 
could have opened up with a scene where they go in there and the, and the club is popping, everybody's throwing stuff, and there's girls dancing on stage. They could have, they could have opened. That would have been, that would have been, I would have been more than okay with that because it is a show about a strip club. If Ooh. any of the producers are watching this show, because I know at least one of y'all watch my reviews, I had <laughs> nothing to say about the way it started. I enjoy watching I, the, the 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 destruction of Autumn Knight's life. And I'm interested to see more about what I, happened to her. I thought they did a decent job with the character development for her so far. They've done a, they've yep. done a decent job there, no doubt. Um, I thought I think it did start off a little slow. Um, yep. I, I wish that I wish that it had started off a little bit faster pace. That was one of the reasons why I thought it would have worked out nicely. If see, they had, there you go. You a faster pace. You just wanted breast shaking. See, there you no, go, man. Breast shaking. But I, I think it would have been great if they would have started off where they, you know, like they, they started off showing the whole sort of Katrina thing. They were giving us some background about, you know, why, uh, you know, why what's her name was was sort of in, in a bad place. They show her pulling her suitcase out inside the suitcase. She has all this fancy stuff like some red bottoms, these Saint Laurent, you know, purses and, and clothes. So we get it. It seems like she was coming from a place either where she had some money or somebody in her life had some money that was sharing with her. So, um, and I get, and I'm assuming that she wasn't someone that would like really had a gang of money. She must've been with somebody that was, that was giving it to her. Cause I can't think of most women who come from money that if they lose everything, the first thing they do is hop off a bus and go, go to a strip club. That just doesn't see that. She must've already been in that life some at some point. Cause that's uh, maybe, not, maybe not, ma'am. I mean, sometimes when people fall from grace, and you have a devastation. Like, let's just say she had money and she lost her family. Let's just say she lost her kids. People people go to some dark place. People start drinking. People start abusing drugs. Maybe this is, is the way the she wants to abuse go, herself. The first place you go, though, is to is decide to start. Anyway, maybe you're right. Maybe she just went to a dark place. I Yeah. yeah. I, it's, I mean, okay. That's fine. Maybe she, I think she was living that life on some level before that because I think she seemed to be more than comfortable going and she there. Might. Right. And, and so. she might. She might have been and got out of it somehow. Right. So, so I was, you know, I think I wish they would have, like, I'm, I'm, I was okay with them showing that part of it in the beginning, but I wish when they, when they went to pink, I wish it would have, I would have been happier if they had had a more fast paced scene in there. Where they came through, they were playing some Louisiana bounce music, and they had the girls dancing. The club was going crazy. Like they showed it sort of, but it didn't really work. It just it didn't really work. They they should have. If I if I was if I was a, if I was the studio head and they came and showed me that scene, I'd have been like, you need to go re reshoot that scene. I, like either you need to reshoot it or you need to recut it because you need to you need to, to amp, you need to amp up. You, you need to you need to put that energy level up a little bit more. I just didn't feel the energy in there in that in that opening scene. So. You know, but I think they did Larry, a hard job. With you one of them dudes that want to start drinking ten o'clock in the morning, huh? Like, no, God, let, 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 let it get to mid, let it get past one o'clock before you start having the drinks, my man. They had to set the story up. No, they had is, to set it up. This is a this is an episode that should have been like episode three. This is like the and I mean like this like the pacing everything. This is like an episode three episode because you know then you watch episode one you watched episode two you're like oh this is a pretty dope show i like this i'm gonna get it and then episode three bam they slow it down a little bit they're telling more stories they're giving more background the first episode you want it hyped up you want people excited so people are like oh damn you should have seen p valley you was hyped this show is gonna be lit and instead it was like eh, yeah yeah well I'll, I'll wait i'll give it another episode or two and see if i like it if not i'll dip out and just be done that's where I was kind of left with it. I would have much rather have been. I would have rather have been gone come out of episode one hyped up like this is going to be bomb, and maybe I'd have been disappointed. Maybe I wouldn't have, but I probably would be more excited and willing to talk about it with people and say give it a shot. Because right now I'm just like, ah, I'll give it a few more episodes to see if it turns into something. Yeah, you know? I, I, I'm I'm highly intrigued by the three characters that they're focusing on. I definitely want to know more about what is Mercedes plans. I want to know. I want to know what's going on. Mercedes. I'm definitely want to know what's going on with Autumn Knight. And I'm kind of curious to know the type of trouble Uncle Clifford is about to get into because we don't see Uncle Clifford. Um, what was the saying they had on Players Club? 
You make uh, the money. Don't money let the money make you. Right. Uncle Clifford is willing to let the money make him. We've seen that clearly last night. Yeah. So I'm, I'm interested in what they're going to do. And there was one more character of mention that they showed late in the episode that my man Copeland Studios is talking about. What was up with the guy that kept taking pictures of Club Pink in the parking lot late at night and told Autumn Knight that he was in real estate? Yeah, he said something like he worked for somebody that was some client that was in real estate or something, and he was showing. But and then she stood out there. She wanted him to see her because when she when she got off work, she stood out there like she was waiting for him to keep taking pictures. I think she wanted to be in his shot. And what do you but, think he is? I don't. I do. I do not for one no, minute. I think, I think he's a. I think he's some sort of creep that's going to end up hurting the girls or something or going after them. Or and, I think he's a private investigator working for someone who might have a restraining order on their husband or boyfriend because they're obviously playing playing the storyline that some of these women are battered and beaten by men and maybe some of them have escaped men in other places i could easily see homeboy being some side eye private investigator i would i was thinking that briefly i thought like okay maybe he's going maybe he was looking for her maybe even since he got out of the car right. and made a point to go talk to her mm -hmm. and, and I was thinking that because like she like it, looking from all the stuff that she had, all the fancy clothes and everything, like maybe she came from some money, which which would which it wouldn't be unreasonable to think that if someone was actually looking for her, they had enough money to hire a PI. But I think he might be a creep. And part of that is because if she's a PI, it's sort of it's sort of a short storyline for this dude. And the way they kept showing him. And the way they they sort of were, they kept going back to him, and then they brought him in and introduced uh, introduced those two to each other. It seems like there's more of a relationship that they're going to build there, more than this just a a PI, you know, more than him just being a PI. I think I think he's going to be some, I think he's going to be a creep of some sort. But 